Hi and welcome to Embedded Real-Time Operating System. I'm the instructor of this course, Norman McIntyre. It's a great UCSD extension course and this is a preview. First, this will be the best and the most exciting course you've ever taken. It'll have great presentations, great code demos, and when you leave the course you'll have lots of embedded RTOS development skills. Briefly about myself, I'm the founder and president of Serving Corp. I have a BS and MS in computer engineering and during that time I've done hardware engineering that is board design, system design, and IC design and also software engineering. Everything from low-level device drivers to high-level enterprise software. And of course it includes writing a lot of RTOS, embedded RTOS code. Here's some of my recent projects that have used embedded RTOS and they all have something in common in that they're using embedded RTOS Here's a close-up of the board, and under the metal shield is the processors. In fact, here's a block diagram. There's the COM processor, which has several RTOS tasks handling the communications, and there's also an applications processor. The applications processor has different RTOS tasks. So the embedded RTOS skills you'll learn in this course. Number one, you'll learn embedded RTOS concepts. So these are concepts that are true for all embedded real-time operating systems. Number two, you'll learn about the CMSIS RTOS, the Cortex-M software interface standard. Number three, you'll learn how to use the free RTOS API. In fact, many times you'll find you may use the CMSIS RTOS API and all it does is call down to the free RTOS API. Here's the hardware we'll use for the course. It's a very, very nice board. Has an STM32 processor on it. It's filled with I.O. devices all around it. It's a standard board you can order off the web. And we'll be writing RTOS code that runs on this and takes advantage of many of the I.O. devices. In this course, we cover embedded RTOS, the CMSIS RTOS, as well as the free RTOS. There are two hardware options you'll get get skills with both of these. I will begin by using the free RTOS Windows Simulator and then we will spend the majority of the course running free RTOS on the STM34L Discovery Board I.O. node. You'll end this course with a strong foundation in RTOS kernel and then you can explore other RTOS topics. For example, there's a whole ecosystem of additional code that runs on top of RTOS things like a CLI, that is a command line interface, TCP, the transmission control protocol, and many more. I'm Norman McIntyre, and I look forward to seeing you in this embedded RTOS course. Thank you.